Hi guys, my name is Bill and what I'm going to do today is show you how to test some defrost timers. Now I have other videos showing you how to put it in defrost, wait 30 minutes, seeing if the heater comes on, waiting for it to come out of defrost, but I'm going to give you a more visual look at the way a defrost timer works and hopefully it'll, it'll help you in your testing process. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to try to make this simple. Now on every defrost timer, there's a series of four pins and they're labeled two, starting from left to right. We got two, one, four, and the one that's away from the others is number three. And that's, we'll, we'll, we'll call this one here the neutral. The fan neutral, the heater neutral, and the neutral that goes to your cord that you plug in all connect to basically this in some way, shape, or form. And when you have your refrigerator turned on, this pin number one has the power. It always has constant power. And what happens between defrost, when, when whenever our light's going to come on, and when the fan comes on in a compressor, when it's not in defrost, power is going to switch from one to either two in the defrost, or go from one and make a connection to pin number four, whenever it's compressor and the fan has to run. So I, I kind of have that set up right here on this defrost timer the power on my cord that I'm going to plug into the wall right here is going to pins number one and three and then right now I'm going to put the defrost timer in defrost so there's out of defrost spin this around now it's in defrost so when I plug this cord in the lights going to come on because it's sending power that I have connected to one pin number one right here and it's going to connect it to number two which number two is that wire that runs to that light so let's plug it in this is a noisy timer too so there we go lights on we're in defrost now after 30 minutes this is a 10 hour 10 hour 30 minute timer so after, after, after 30 minutes, that light will go out and the fan will come on. But I'm going to advance it out of defrost. A little turn here. Defrost system's off. And the fan and the compressor are on. Now basically it's going to run like this for 10 hours cycling on and off to keep temperature and then it's going to come back to that 30 minute window to where power goes from pin number one back over to pin number two now you can also test the timer I mean the timer has a little motor in it so you could test it with when you have it in defrost you have a, a circuit between one and two it'll, it'll show a closed circuit and when you take it out of defrost it's going to show a closed circuit between one and four and that tells you that when it's plugged in, those will get power, but it's not going to actually tell you if the timer is turning or not. And the easiest way to do that really would be to make a mark on your timer, connect powers to pin 1 and 3, plug it in, and let that timer advance. And make sure it goes more than a quarter turn. If it goes through the defrost, if you plug it in when it's in defrost, and it comes out of defrost on its own, the motor inside the timer is good. I have all this set up just as a, as a visual. Now I did put it in defrost with a light on, let it go for 32 minutes is what it took for the light to go out and the fan to come on. So we're going to simulate 10 hours here. And we're almost there. So now the defrost system's on and the compressor and the fan are off and it'll be like that for 30 minutes and that's basically how it works all right so there you go that's a little bit about how a defrost timer works in your refrigerator i hope that visual has made it a little bit easier for you to understand how the power connects between one and two 
and then from one and four, depending on whether it's in defrost or whether it's calling for cold, and the fan and the compressor are cycling on and off as they should. <laughs> Every time I try to say something, somebody loud drives by. But anyway, there you go. Now these videos, I, they're, they're not really covering a whole lot on refrigerator troubleshooting, but these are meant for individual pages on my website. How to, how to check a defrost timer, how to check evaporator fan, and stuff like that. It's actually a website I'm working on right now to try to you know, just expand what I have on the internet to help people out when they're Google searching for you know, how to fix the refrigerator. So thanks for watching, and go ahead and hit the like button for this video if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.